Well, I really wanted Deidre and Kathy to move out and actually be real Sims, not ghosts. So I was going to resurrect them and what I discovered is that Lily cannot de-deathify Ghidri. It's due to a special trait that he has, but what about the wishing well for Ambrosia? Because they don't expect you to be able to add Ghidri to your household. I think the only reason why I was able to do that is because I got Ghidri and Kathy engaged and we married Ghidri as a ghost. So I'm going to have Ghidri wish for a life and let's see what happens. Oh, he got Ambrosia. This is actually better than him just becoming alive through the wishing well because I can duplicate this. Yeah, let me have Lily cast Duplicado on this Ambrosia and that not only resurrects a Sim, that will also reset Carla's age if she eats it. And I don't think you can duplicate the potions of youth. I'm not sure on that. I haven't tried it. I know some things are hard to du cast Duplicado on, and I think reward store potions are one of the things that it won't let you. But I can duplicate Ambrosia. And now we have three plates of Ambrosia. So let's have Ghidri eat it and see if he will come alive. Now I enclosed him in this room because I want to be sure that he doesn't sit down. So we're going to have him eat the ambrosia. Sometimes if you have them sitting down in a chair when they're eating it, it actually glitches them out and they don't come back to life. Oh, he might be coming back to life. Uh, no, it didn't work. Oh no, it did work. I thought you could only do this with mods or cheats because that's what several websites said. But no, this game has no mods and no cheats. And now Ghidri is human again. And I did rename him because he, his name was empty. So I didn't want the game to glitch out. So it will actually generate a new Ghidri for haunted houses. But this version can go on to marry Kathy and they can actually have kids. Now the other option was to actually leave just Ghidri as a ghost and then resurrect Kathy. And I think she could probably still get pregnant even though Ghidri would be a ghost because I've actually had that happen in my other games with MC Command Center installed and Neighborhood Stories. So basically Ghidri and Temperance, both of them are capable of impregnating and getting pregnant because they're flagged weirdly in the system somehow. Now it might be an MC Command Center bug, so it might not happen without mods, but I'm not entirely sure. I just know that in all my other games, if Temperance or Ghidri gets assigned to a household, they can have children. And so I have to delete that household or move them out of the household and make sure that they don't stay as part of the household. And for Kathy, we're just going to do a simple spell of D-Deathify. And that was easy. Okay, I don't like the look on Lily's face. She looks like she is nauseated. And if I click on the toilet, it says throw up. Which really means that the game has made her pregnant. Okay. Well, I guess I can move out Ghidri and Kathy, although I may have acted a little prematurely on resurrecting Kathy. Maybe I shouldn't have done that because another easy way that you can get a death flower is by getting ingredients instead of getting ambrosia or getting resurrected by the wishing well. And now I don't have a ghost in the household, so I can't wish for life. Oh, well, I did not think that one through. And there we have it. We've moved Ghidri and Kathy out of the household and they are leaving. So I know that Lily is pregnant and she won't have an issue with death for three days. That gives us three days to find a death flower. Let's go ahead and visit the magic realm and see if we have any luck. And while I'm here, I'll learn my last potion. Oh, it's a resurrection potion. No, what are you doing over here? You are supposed to be the one selling the ingredients. Why is it always the ingredients one that is messed up? I think it's because Alessandra is talking to her. So maybe if I introduce myself and tell them both goodbye, 
they will stop talking. Oh, why are you going to talk to someone else? Quit it. Go to your workstation, please. Quit talking to people. No, you're not talking to me. Go over here to your station. Why is this so difficult? You are an astral projection. Stop talking to me and go over and tend your stall, please. And of course, I can't cast any magic on her because she's an astral projection. So the only way to fix this is to turn on testing cheats and to add her to the household. Even resetting her doesn't work. And then the game will realize, hey, there's no projection. Let me go and generate one over here. Sometimes. That's what happened last time. No, no, don't chat with the new guy. Where is he? Uh, why? He... Okay, I think maybe he's going somewhere to do something. Oh, is he going to his stall? Thank God, he's going to his stall. Okay, and of course there's no death flower, but at least now I have a working vendor, but I have to do this every single time I come here and it is so annoying. All right, grocery delivery actually has a pomegranate. So I just need Lily to Snapdragon in order to make an orchid. And why do I have no Snapdragons? All right, well, we'll have to get the Snapdragon, but we do have a Lily. Okay, it turns out you can copy paste potions from the reward store. Okay, well, this is going to be super easy then because I can just use Lily to copy <laughs> Moodlet Solvlers for Carla since she can't drink potions. All right, it's spring, which means we should go to an area with snapdragons. I think that you can buy them in certain places. First, actually, let's go to Hennifer on Bagley and try to see if there's some at the flower shop. It's so annoying having the paparazzi everywhere with our flashing cameras. So I'm going to disguise Lily, even though it doesn't prevent everything from happening. Oh, there's an orchid. Well, that makes it a little bit easier. And of course we get a Snapdragon. What should we do in the meantime? Let's go to the Sylvan Glade. And we just go to this house in Willow Creek and we view this weird looking tree. And it's not giving me anything. So I'm thinking that maybe kids can't do this. Oh, now I can chat about roots. For some reason I had to view it like five times. It would not give me the option to do anything else. Okay, now I can explore. This trunk is a lot bigger than anticipated. It's dark, but somehow not scary. A faint glow is the only light. A rolling burble, the only sound. I forget which one you're supposed to do. I think we're going to go with follow the light. Yeah, it was a sound. I thought so. Carla delves a bit deeper and a bit darker. A soft splash tells her that she has just stepped into a shallow stream. We'll go downstream this time. And that was the right choice. Taking the path of least resistance and hoping that it doesn't terminate at a sewer main, Carla is distracted by an ethereal mist glowing ominously. Enter the mist. I know that that's the right answer. The mist is warm and friendly as far as mists go. Without warning, Carla feels the sensation of being spun around. An exit to the cave is now staring her in the face. Travel to the glade. And Carla got the found the sylvan glade milestone. It's a pretty place, and there's some things that you can get here that are rare, but I don't really need anything right now, so we're going to go to the Forgotten Grotto. Now, in order to do this, you go to the Oasis Springs Park, and then you have to look for this cave back here somewhere. There it is, and you need Handiness Level 10. Now, Lily can get in, so I'm guessing if Lily gets her in that Carla will get the milestone. Now, normally I would have Carla do it herself, but she won't be able to get handiness until she's a teen. And we're just doing random things until we can get her a childhood phase. And explore the cave. Oh, Carla can actually explore it now herself. Okay, we're going to just get Lily out of here because I want Carla to do it, not Lily. 
So you only need handiness level 10 in order to open the entrance, but you can go inside even if you don't have handiness level 10. Exploring Cave. Carla, ever the intrepid explorer, sets out to spelunk the cave. There are two pathways. The narrower of the two as, is a bit stalactite, but Carla's stalagmite fit if she squeezes. Well, of course, she is a child, but we're going to take the wide path. No need to try something dangerous. Carla creeps down the main branch and spies through the dim remaining light a switchback headed gradually up and a rickety ladder headed down. Okay, sh should we go up or down? I'm going to say maybe down. Carla carefully plunges into a black abyss, groping her way along splintery rungs. After a long descent, a faint azure light starts to fill the expanse below. She can step off onto a dim, mossy precipice or continue into the blue. Okay, we'll step onto the ledge. Maybe that's it. It could be either one. A soft, mossy path leads Carla effortlessly onward until she spies the entranceway to a beautiful grotto. Travel to the grotto. Well, that was easy. We also found the forgotten grotto. We have a couple of other things that we can work on. We can either find the Hermit of Granite Falls or we can try ex exploring Sixum. We can reach Mount Kumarabi Summit or we can get a horse. Uh, maybe we'll get a horse and we need to witness the birth of a foal, which means we need to get both a mare and a stallion and breed them. That'll be interesting. Okay, Talladega is independent, a free spirit, and brave. Hopefully that means that he won't want to socialize as much because, I'm sorry, but the horses are ridiculous. They interrupt what you're doing. Okay, Lily got the I got a horse milestone, but I don't think Carla did. So maybe Carla has to adopt the other one. Meanwhile, I'm going to send Lily to build this rocket. Okay, so children cannot purchase or sell horses. So how am I supposed to get the got a horse milestone? I don't think that's possible for children. So that may be a mistake. And now we have a horse for no reason. I don't get it. Lily adopted the dog and I got the milestone for adopted a pet, but... I get the horse and it doesn't count for the kid. Okay, I'm actually going to have Carla go to sleep because maybe she will be able to get the monster under her bed. I'm pretty sure I don't have any lights in this room. And of course, there it is, right on time. Okay, let's see if we can talk to the monster. Okay, no, she was unsuccessful. Can I try again? No, unfortunately not. And she comes in with a little spray bottle and she says, no more monsters, go away. And then your kid can sleep again just to be woken up by the monster another hour later. Oh, the horse is in the house. I really didn't want the horse in the house. I completely forgot to lock the doors though. Well, as long as the horse doesn't constantly bug me with social interactions, it's fine actually. Okay, now it says Lily is eating for two, but I never got the notification. She is actually pregnant. But maybe we should go to the Magic Realm and check again for a Death Flower since it's Monday morning. I'm not sure what, what time the items change. Okay, why does she... Okay, there's two of them. And they start out in not the right spot. She's in front and he's behind. And I guess maybe one of them is the broom vendor. And there's that one. Okay, so maybe the broom vendor is screwed up this time, which I really don't care. Yes, we got a death flower. I'm going to buy two just in case, because if for some reason it explodes when I try and copy paste it, um, we're just going to get two to be sure. Oh, and of course, the broom vendor immediately goes to their stall like they should, and there's no problem. Why is it always the potion one that is so messed up? Well, now I really don't need these plants, but eh, maybe I'll just let them grow. Actually, I'm only going to keep the excellent one because I used Sulani Mana on this one twice and we'll try and get a perfect quality pomegranate tree out of it. And I'll go ahead and plant one just so I can try and get a perfect quality one later. Okay, children can't fly in a rocket ship, but Maybe if Lily makes the wormhole generator, goes to Sixum, 
and brings Carla there, kind of like the other places uh, that'll work. I'm not sure if it actually works unless Carla gets to six them of her own means. She might be able to go through the wormhole generator from the scientist career, but I'm not having Lily do that. Actually, I'm not even sure that Lily can go to space. She's pregnant. Well, I just might have to wait for the baby to be born to do that one. Off to drama club. Okay, these are the little pop-ups that you get when you're in drama club and you have to answer it correctly if you have the correct skill level to advance to the next level of the career. And if you do not take the risk, you will not get promoted. And if you take the risk and you don't have the skill level in order to be promoted, you will get kicked out of drama club. So this one says happy monologue. The drama club teacher has had a prophetic vision and is no longer happy with the ending of the show. A new ending is needed. The teacher wants Carla to write a happy monologue to end the show. But Carla feels a song would end the show better. Should Carla write a happy monologue or happy song to end the show with? Always do what Carla wants to do or what the group wants to do, never what the teacher wants to do. So we're going to create a happy song. And the teacher was not happy with the song, but there was no time to change it. The audience loved the song and was even singing it on the way out of the theater. Carla games fame for the hard work. And that means she will also get promoted. What? She didn't get promoted? Her perf Okay, I don't think her performance needed to be maxed for that. It just says increase creativity skill to two to become a line learner. Great. Are we bugged because we actually can't get creativity skill anymore? Um, we might have to do this career as a teen, which is a, a which is a shame. I I can never figure out how you can get promoted in this career. I, I just don't get it. I think as a teenager, the only way I've ever been promoted is to actually take a date off and for some reason get promoted when the day ends for that career. Oh, what? I lost a celebrity level? I just made a donation which was supposed to give me fame. Yeah, Lily can't explore space while pregnant. Fine, I can at least upgrade the rocket. Oh no, Zero has passed away. For those of you that don't know, Zero was my beginning sim in Kaz in order to start this challenge. I didn't realize we even knew her. Oh, apparently we're friends. Whoops, I forgot to pay the bills. I always have my bills on auto pay with NC Command Center in my other games, but since there's no mods in this game, whoops, I have to pay them manually. Oh, she's going through a clingy phase. That means we can actually get rid of the childhood stage eventually. I'm not sure if we need to do all of these other things that we can actually do in other ages. So maybe we'll just skip right to teenager. And Carla has a clingy phase. I think that you can actually get rid of these phases by doing certain actions. However, it is easier to get character values as a child versus a teen. Okay, the only downside of becoming a teenager now is that Carla will become a werewolf and I don't have the cure. I haven't even been working on it. So maybe we should get the cure first and then make Carla a teenager. Or maybe we should just do that aspiration. Okay, when kids and teens get a phase, you can have their parents ask them about the phase and it will tell you about possible actions that will make the phase go away quickly. And this especially is nice for the bear phase because who wants to see their son running around in a bear costume? I just want to be near my parents. A gentle nudging to play with other children, make friends, or even gain skills will help me to become more independent. Okay, maybe we have to do the influence too. Okay, I guess we could do influence to practice violin because most of these we have already done. We'll get rid of the childhood phase and then maybe we could go to the werewolf world and try to find out about the cure. I've never actually made the werewolf cure, so I'm not sure how to do it. Okay, this time we get create cowboy costumes. Cowboy costumes are needed for the show on Friday. The teacher wants classic cowboy costume attire from their favorite cowboy movie. But Carla wanted to add a fantasy twist to them. 
Should Carla create the costumes in a classic or fantasy style? Fantasy style, of course. The teacher is not happy with the costumes, but there is no time to make new ones. The show goes on and the costumes are a hit with the audience. Students are asking Carla to make costumes for the homecoming parade. Carla gains fame for the hard work. And she got promoted this time. Okay, I had her work hard and maybe the performance bar got full. Oh, I don't know. I just don't like this one. Okay, now the horse and the sheep can stay in this little fenced area because the horse is starting to do the socials that I don't really care for. Lily is finally able to install the wormhole generator, but she's also about to give birth. Okay, we're promoted to a practical performer now. What is the mini sheep doing out of the pen? Did the range hand let him out? Okay, I know the problem. I locked it for the mini sheep and then I locked it for the horse. But you can't do that. Um, okay, I'm not sure how we can lock this for both mini sheeps and horses. I just have to say everyone and then allow the ranch hand in. Why is there a ghost here? There must be an urn somewhere around. And now we have a perfect death flower. Okay, apparently you can't get the cure for a werewolf if you're not currently a werewolf because you have to scavenge the ground for the diary of Greg. So I guess we will have to be a werewolf for a while as a teenager. So maybe what I will do is actually do the aspiration for a werewolf to get the cure because I'm going to cure it anyway. It's just going to be super annoying going around as a teenager and rampaging all the time. For now, we'll work on our childhood phase and actually wait for Lily's child to be born. Why do you keep talking to her, Lily? Go do something else. And finally, she goes into labor. And it's a girl. We're going to have Renee and just one baby, thankfully. And she's a blue baby. Now, this baby doesn't have to get all of the milestones, so we can just age her up real quick. And of course, it makes me wait a little while. And she's a werewolf. I was hoping for a non-werewolf baby. Oh, well. Okay, Renee, time to blow out the candles. And just so I don't forget, I'm going to have Carla take a potion of youth. Well, I'm not, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't do that because actually, no, she needs to be a teenager. There's nothing really left for her to do in childhood. She could work on these character values, but really they're pretty high and I'm probably going to ruin a couple of them by doing some of the milestones. So it really doesn't matter that these are up or down. Oh no, Lily, you don't get to be hysterical. Drink your potion. That'll get rid of all of your buffs. I don't want her to have any positive moodlets like that. Hopefully it gets rid of the positive. Yes, it gets rid of everything. All right, Lily's just going to go check the mail. And I'm getting some stuff together in order to go camping. And we did have... Renee age up to a child. So she's just practicing riding her bike. I decided not to age up Carla to a teen yet because of the fact that she's going to have to get the werewolf cure. And to be honest, I'm really not looking forward to doing that. Okay, Carla cannot call the ranch animal exchange, but maybe we could go to that big ranch center. I forget what it's called. And maybe she can do it from there. Probably not, but it's worth a try. Okay, no, it doesn't look like it's available. Is it available for Lily? Yes, yeah, she can purchase a horse here. Okay, so basically children cannot get a horse. I don't know why it says that that milestone is available to a child where she can't obviously do it. If for some reason she didn't get credit for it when Lily did it, and she got credit for adopting a pet when Lily did it. So... I'm not sure what the deal is there. Hopefully that milestone isn't bugged. I don't care if she doesn't get it as a child, but I would be really upset if she doesn't get it at all when she gets to be an adult or a teenager. Okay, Lily, we need two more horses. 
Okay, the only ones that they have that are mares both have the fearful trait. This is supposed to be good horses because I'm paying a thousand simoleons. Why are they both fearful? Well, I get fearful, intelligent, and friendly, or independent, fearful, and free spirit. I guess I'm going to go with the independent, fearful, and free spirit, but I really don't want the fearful trait. Really? Lily, you're going to ride your bicycle? It's just over there. Okay. And we have Sunburst. And she's going to... Okay, she's putting it in her inventory. I was about to say, is she going to ride out of the thing? What is this place called? I really... I can't remember what it's called. It is some kind of horse emporium or some kind of... Okay, we have a new horse. Now what I need to do... Call the horse out, and then Lily, where are you? You're still inside. No, don't play a guitar. Come out here. Hopefully your guitar is back in your inventory. Ugh, you left it in there, didn't you? I have a bunch of stuff in her inventory because I plan on going camping and using all these things, but why, Lily, why? <laughs> she left the guitar in here, and now I probably can't pick it up. It's not like the Realm of Magic. In the Realm of Magic, we, you can actually see inside the stalls to see what's going on. But no, this building doesn't let you zoom into it. So I'm not going to be able to pick up the guitar. She set it down. And I'm just going to have to buy another one. Because it will return to your lot eventually. But I don't know if it does it immediately or not. I'm just going to go home. Okay, we need one more. I guess we can get an elder because the third horse doesn't matter. I just need one mare that is able to have a foal or a filly. This one is defiant. Why do the ones for sale sometimes have bad traits? Okay, this one is a mare and she's brave, friendly, and has a free spirit. Okay, so we actually got one that is good after we purchased the one that had a bad trait. Okay, well, we'll get that one. We'll have two mares and we'll just breed the one that has the good traits. So we have Talladega, Sunburst, and Sarsaparilla. Or Sarsaparilla? That's not even Sarsaparilla, that's Sarsaparilla. Oh, okay, I gotta change that one. That one is not a good name. Does anybody have any names? Uh, if you do, leave them in the comments, but I'm gonna name her something else. Sarsaparilla. <laughs> Come on, that's not even a name that I know of. So here we have Cleopatra, Midnight, and Caramel. Caramel reminds me of the Caramel Creams, but I didn't really feel like calling him Caramel Cream. So yeah, we have three horses now. Now, we don't need three horses in order to breed a horse. However, I thought maybe instead of doing things the easy way and kind of the boring way, that we would make a little bit of an adventure. I plan on going to Granite Falls with all of the Sims and having basically a trail riding expedition. And maybe we can get all of the Sims to ride the horses and Wolfie will follow along on foot. Um, I don't know how this will go because there's nothing in the game that really allows you to horseback ride in a group, which is a shame. But maybe someone will make a mod for that. Now I can put these horse beds in my inventory, but I don't think I'm going to bother because they're too big. It doesn't make sense that you could take this with you. Also, and I'm having random issues with Lily's inventory. So if you use the cots from the little kids camper kit or whatever it's called, I think maybe that they're bugged because you can't drag them into your inventory. But if you have them out in the world, you can click on them and go to put in inventory. But I tried that with three of those and 
I don't know, maybe it was because I had them queued up. She put the first one in her inventory. And then when she went to put the second one in the, her inventory, she did the animation where she was laying on the bed instead. And it glitched out. And then her inventory did not have the beds. And when I clicked on the beds, it said place and world. And that was the only option. Everything else was not an option. So I'm not sure if the bed was bugged or the fact that I queued them up was bugged or it was just my game. I am just having so many bugs in this game and it makes me sad because I don't use any mods or hardly any cheats in this game. I have used a couple of resets here and there, but I've not done anything significant uh, with the exception of getting Ghidri, but that was through a bug. That was not through cheats. I have not done anything in this game for that warrants bugs like that happening. So I don't know what's wrong. But anyway, that's why we have these normal, ordinary colored beds instead of the nice, pretty camper beds from the kids kit. Okay, you have your bike back in your inventory. You can still practice, but I think we're going to go camping first. I think think I remembered to bring everything. I'm actually quite overpacked because there's no way that we really need all this stuff, but I'm just doing it like I do in real life. Go on a camping trip where you only need minimal necessities and bring everything. Okay, and I'm only taking the household. I would like to take the dad. What is his name? Trenton. Okay, I would like to take Trenton. However, I don't know how it's going to work with the horses and I'd have to get him a horse, which means I would have a full household. And I'm, my policy is to not get rid of the pets after I get a pet in, in The Sims until they die off because, I, I don't know, I, I, I could not do that with the children because Lily had 30 kids. But with the pets, I try to keep them and keep them happy. So we are going to keep these pets as their forever home. Um, we might have someone uh, go out of the household and stay with her father for a little while, uh, Renee, <laughs> or, you know, we do need teenagers in the house. So when I do teenagers, I need a teenage sister. In order to get prom royalty, you have to have someone vote for you. And so once she does that, then she can move on. Now we're going to Granite Falls for three days. So I did rent the one that we used to have, which means it has all the infant stuff in here, which we don't really need, but that's fine. I can actually put these in inventory. These do not belong to me, but I guess uh, that one I don't own, but for some reason this one I own, um, I'm not sure why. And I own that one as well for some reason. Okay, that's interesting. Anyway, um. It's raining, of course. We go camping and it's raining. Okay, we did bring the horse's hay and we did bring some pet food for the dog. I have to remember to bring these when we go out on our trail ride because if they get hungry, they'll need them. And we'll put the little ball out here. Now, the horses don't have a place to lay down, but to be honest, I'm pretty sure at least that, well, Cleopatra is a free spirit. Midnight is a free spirit. And Caramel is a free spirit. Okay, so since they're free spirits, that means that they will not sleep in the beds, even if I brought them. It seems I did not remember to bring the dog bed, but that's okay. Now here are the backpacks. These things were recolored and added functionality by The Sims recently. You can actually open them and they hold items. So, so far the items that I have found that they can hold are a lunchbox, homework, a towel, a yoga mat, a journal, a ball, and these are some kids toys. So other things that are in my regular inventory here, they can't hold. So it helps a little bit to clean up your inventory space. I don't know why I can't put the death flower in there. I tried and I probably wouldn't keep it there, but I couldn't put it there anyway. Okay, it's getting... Well, it's not even late and already Carla is tired. You need to practice riding your bike. Maybe you can ask Lily to help you. And then Carla can go in here and take a nap. Actually, the horses will not be able to come into the house here because they're stairs. Oh, you can actually hear the spokes 
rubbing against the cards. Oh, yes, That's kind yes, of fun. Yes, yes, yes. And of course, now Renee is tired. I don't want to use a moodlet solver because I actually want them to be a little bit tired so that they can sleep when it when it's nighttime. But the problem is, is if their energy gets even yellow, they decide they need to go take a nap. And Elk Sanchez is our ranger today. Okay, I think the only thing I could do is ask for camping info. I couldn't find anything else on the menu, but the menu is just so ridiculous now. She keeps stopping from practicing her bike riding, and I want her to learn how to ride the bike. Uh, it's only 2.07. She's going to need to sleep a little bit. And I did make everybody new outfits, so we all have jeans as riding gear. Even Lily. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I still have to go to drama club? <laughs> that stinks. Our food is still here from last time. Okay, well, I guess that helps. I was going to order food and then Carla went to go grab food from the kitchen and I'm like, where is she getting that food? Okay, it says my activity was supposed to start, but it didn't make me go. That's good. If we're on vacation, we don't have to go to the activities. Well, since it's raining, I guess we'll stay inside and do crafts. I brought some crafts and I have a cross stitcher and some yarn and also an easel, but there's already easels here, so Lily doesn't really need to do, get her easel from her inventory. Cross stitching is a boring skill, and it's also kind of annoying. Thank you, notifications. I'm gonna hate that because I have a mod normally that turns that off, but anyway, cross stitching is an annoying skill because sometimes you get your finger pricked and then you can't do any cross stitching. And you will get that even if you're level five. Well, Carla learns very fast though, so maybe it won't be so bad. Huh. Cross stitching doesn't have to do anything with any other skill or any milestones or any kind of aspiration. So why did Carla's responsibility fall out of range to earn the responsible trait? I'm not... I am getting penalized for not going to my activity, but I can't go to my activity. I'm on vacation. That's some glitch. It didn't even give me the option to go to the activity. Fine, I'm going to stay on vacation anyway. I'll get, I'll get responsibility later. Okay, you can get up now. And Renee is gonna do some knitting. It actually helps her motor skill? That is weird. I mean, it is fine motor, but she's not a toddler anymore. Well, knitting is apparently faster than cross-stitching, probably because she's talking to Lily. If you want your sims to eat together at a table, it's usually best to set the table first. Then make sure to cancel all current actions and use one of your sims to call to meal, but apparently child sims cannot do that. Okay, well, we're going to have Lily do it then. And then everyone will pick up a serving and come to a place at the table and sit down to eat. Hopefully the first person doesn't finish their food before everybody gets there. <laughs> So it's a good idea to have the first person start talking to someone, because if they're talking, they don't eat as quickly. And Carla finished right away. Well, they were eating together for like two seconds. And we'll go ahead and send everyone to bed. I'm pretty sure that there are no night lights in here. So maybe we'll get another visit from the monster. Oh, it's Carla's birthday. I need to have her drink a potion of youth if I want to keep her as a child for a few more days. Ah, it's love day. Well, sorry, Lily, we're not inviting your husband over this time. No monster into the bed. I, I swear when I don't have those stupid lights or if I'm in a place where it's off the grid and the lights go out, that monster comes out every two hours, every single night. Don't chat. Just drink your potion of youth. Oh, we didn't bring the mini sheep, but that's okay. We don't need to take care of sheep while we're on camping trips. And it's raining again. 
Okay, now everyone's going to grab breakfast. And we'll keep the first two talking until the third one gets to the table. If there's one thing that will slow down Sims when they're doing something, it's multitasking and talking. So if you make them all talk to each other right when they sit down, you'll get maybe a few seconds of people talking and eating. But now Carla is done. And it, that was literally 10 seconds. But sometimes they'll stay and talk for a little bit, and sometimes they'll get up and walk away. Oh, that was so cute. I have to do that again. Under affection, there is a bracelet buddy fist bump. Okay, come on. And this is what it looks like. It makes a rainbow. That's so cool. I, maybe because they have a rainbow bracelet. What? Why are you in my house? <laughs> the ranch hand came into my house. I hired a ranch hand to take care of the horses at home. So I guess he's also going to follow us on vacation. That's interesting. And he's going to clean up like a maid. Okay, unfortunately, the only flower I have is a death flower right now, but I'm too cheap to buy anything else. So we're going to give Lily a death flower. Hopefully she doesn't take this poorly. No, she did not like my flower gift. Carla liked the death flower, though. I think everybody's probably going to have a bad love day, except for maybe the kids, because the only thing the kids have to do is give flowers. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot they can cross-stitch and knit on the toilet. The problem is they continue sitting on the toilet until you make them stop. Oh, actually, she pricked her finger, so she can't do it for right now. Okay, since Lily is the adult, I will have her ride Midnight because Midnight is fearful. First, you have to wear your correct outfit, which is the new one. And everyone mount up. Oh, it's so cool how the horses get down on the ground for the kids to get up. I forgot about that. Oh, I actually found the cave. Okay, so there is a walk here together, which I think means walk here together with the horses, maybe? Um, uh, no, because there's bike here together and go here together. Okay, so if I do walk here together, I bet they're all going to get off the horses. <laughs> I have to try it anyway. Uh, Lily got thrown off anyway. Get back on the horse, please, Lily. Okay, I don't think that that works. I thought maybe that they could do that, but no, I don't think it works. So individually, we are going to walk here with the horse for each person. That actually works pretty well. Well, um, almost pretty well. Just kind of ignore that. You can tell the Sims pathing only has one answer here because they're all following each other in a line. Oh, and Lily almost got knocked off again. I think Carla almost got knocked off. Her horse reared too, but I don't know if kids can fall off the horse. <laughs> okay, everybody dismount. Oh, the horses actually don't get down if the children want to get off. So Lily has to explore the cave, and we'll have the girls just collect some insects and wait around at the entrance. Surrounded by thicket, thorns in danger, most assuredly, Lily is left with only one decision, step forward or retreat from adventure. She's exploring the brambles and she's going to step forward. As Lily pushes through the foliage with intrepid courage, a bubbling brook emerges. Should Lily stop to fish? Ah, uh, I forget the answers to this. I guess we're going to keep walking. Lily feels she's on the verge of finding something special, something to make this all worth it, but is quickly tiring. Should Lily take a quick nap or sally forth? A sally forth, of course. Okay, this sentence is weird. Lily has navigated the nigh-foiling foil foliage to discover a sacred cove in the midst of the forest, a cove containing a mysterious sim. So let's go towards the sim. And we're going to send Lily into the deep woods. Okay, I think once Lily is here, we can bring the rest of them here. Yes. Okay, I actually know where the hermit is. She happens to be over there fishing. So we're going to see if we can go talk to her. Oh, I guess Renee likes horseback riding. Um, Lily, I did tell you to walk. Why did you trot? 
It says walk here. <laughs> I think midnight is a little bit scared. Okay, when I purposefully made sure these two were far apart when they started, they joined each other. <laughs> I don't understand how you can get them to follow in a line instead of overlapping. And we'll give some food to Midnight. You can actually take these things anywhere you go. And it's a lot better because the horses get more fuel from it than if they just... No, you're not going to go get water, Lily. If you hand feed them, they don't get as much energy or, or they don't get as much hunger fulfillment. Are you going to eat or not? Go eat. And hello, Hermit. How are you doing today? Why are you out here in the rain fishing? Well, maybe it doesn't count if you just find the Hermit. Maybe you have to find her house. I'm pretty sure this is the outfit the Hermit wears. Yeah, she's erratic. She must be the Hermit. And she loves the outdoors. Okay, I'm friends with the Hermit and I'm sitting in the Hermit's house. But I don't see getting to know the Hermit or whatever the milestone is. It's something to do with the Hermit. Um, okay, you cannot slot the chairs to the table if you just use the place and world feature. Uh, that's annoying. I don't think there's anywhere on the lot that I can place this. And there's only two seats at the table for the Hermit. Oh no, it fits there. Now the question is, do the chairs fit? Okay, I guess that's a weird configuration, but it works. Okay, note how they sit out here when the place settings are out here instead of at the hermit's table. It finally stopped raining. And we're sleeping on cots because it's not raining. Apparently you can ride your bike in whatever outfit you happen to be wearing. Okay, apparently kids can ex explore the cave. So at least this one is not one that Carla can't do, unlike the horse. Oh no, now we're getting different prompts. Okay, after several minutes of hacking furiously through the brush, a large spider web is blocking Carla's way. One would prefer that web not be paired with a spider. Okay, I think you have to go through the web but she might get kicked out of the cave. Let's find an alternate route. Yeah, a semi-rational fear of enormously industrious spiders sent Carla to find an alternate route. Naturally, this route was coated in overripe fire leaf. Okay, yeah, I bet she can't go back into the cave, can she? Well, she's not uncomfortable, so I guess she can. Okay, this is an easy one. We keep walking. Carla marches through the brush in high spirits, swinging, arm, swinging arms and singing songs when a shiny object catches her eye. All the temptation. Um, we're going to maybe ignore it. Okay, and traveling towards the sim is always the answer. Okay, we found the Hermit of Granite Falls because we were the one to explore the cave. Fine. Oh, and it's Saturday. The Finchwick Fair is on. And it's the chicken fair, so we might have an egg that we can use, but I don't think we'll win. Okay, so I guess we'll end our vacation. Okay, we'll encourage Caramel to breed with Cleopatra and see if we can get a foal. And maybe they'll have a horsey baby. Okay, it's two hours early, but I think I should already head to the fair. Oh, she has a cow plant. And for whatever reason, we do not know this Agnes. And we're just waiting for the fair to start. Okay, it seems we also have Gladys back as the mayor. Weird, and somehow we also know her. And the Fitchwick Fair has started. So we will submit our orange egg. We probably will not win, but that's okay. Oh no, what a poor sad little egg. I think it's even cracked. He's talking about my orange egg. Oh, the mayor doesn't like it either. Great. Maybe it was because I was in a bad mood when I submitted it. Yeah, I'm not going to get anything. Oh well, maybe I'll get a participation ribbon. Although, I did get a confident buff once from viewing a good fair entry that would supposedly win, and I did not win. So, maybe those moodlets don't actually matter. Well, since I pricked my finger cross-stitching, I guess I'll play my violin. Oh, I get fame and I get money from this. Okay. Okay, I did notice that it took away my other fame point, so I only have one fame point now. Oh, the fair should be over by now. Why is it not ending? 
Okay, there we go. It looks like it's kind of ending now. Well, this is the end of another week. Let me know in the comments if I should keep waiting for the monster to come out or should I just move on to being a teen? I really don't need to communicate with the monster because that's not really a buff that you get to keep anything for. I guess it's just something fun that I like to do. Unfortunately, the monster's just not coming out. So I only got a chance to talk to it once and I did not succeed in making friends. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.